see the brown sign over there. That's the, that's the entrance to the petrified forest. As a look around here, this is was my campsite for the night. I was getting pretty tired and just wanted a place to camp. I did a lot yesterday. But uh, the Crystal Forest Museum and Gift Shop We've got free camping out back here. And you see across the street over there, the Petrified Forest Gift Shop, they have pay sites that are like $15 a night, I believe, and they have electrical. But uh, Let's get on with this. Me and Sophie are going to go in and go into the park. Talk to you in a little bit. Bye-bye. And away we go. Did get some rain, so you can see there's a little bit of mud here. We'll see how this goes here. Uh, try not to bottom out here. No, oh, did a little bit right on the hitch. Now oh, we're okay. right outside the gate. I was actually at this park in I believe it was October on my way to Arizona and I was still new at YouTube and didn't film it and I think it's some great content and so the reason why I wanted to stop back by here well this one is called the giant logs so we'll go see some giant logs here. And uh, pets are welcome on all the trails. As long as you clean up after them, have them on a leash and take control of them. As you see, there was a choya cactus back there. You want to watch out with some of them. This is the Crystal Forest.
This is just such an amazing place. The viewpoints that you can stop at and see little pull-offs and, and smaller loops that you can drive down. You can easily spend an, an entire day just exploring. And if you're a hiker, they've got some really incredible trails here to hike on. And I'd recommend uh, biking too. I saw several people riding their bikes, e-bikes and road bikes. But uh, just an amazing, amazing place. This is called Agate Bridge. It's actually a petrified log that uh, spans a wash. And uh, it's been known about for several years and people used to walk across it. Well, over time, they break into smaller chunks that look to be about you know, two feet long, but uh, they tried to preserve it and keep people off it. They, uh, uh, years back, they put uh, a concrete brace under it. Here's the wash right here that goes underneath it. As we walk up, you'll see it right here on your right. And there it is, the Agate Bridge. Also, Agate Bridge here, the uh, place where I was standing in when I started this section of the video, is where I, uh, my, uh, profile picture came from. It really is a beautiful drive through this park. And if you've never been, you ought to try it. A nice little loop. Little pull-offs here and here for like, here and there like the Agate Bridge that we're just at. And, uh, little different scenery than I've been showing you it's, but it's all this <laughs> petrified wood is just crazy out here you see it almost looks like it was arranged in some areas of which it hasn't been they just left it where it is all right we'll catch up at the next stop this area is known as the blue mesa it's uh, one of, definitely one of the most beautiful viewpoints in the park. You can see forever in the colors and textures. I can't represent it that well, but with these pluff, puffy clouds and blue skies today, oh, it is amazing. There's a nice hiking trail. Um, I'd already done some hiking. My ankle was a little sore. Here's another viewpoint looking back at where I came from over there. And as I pan around... To the left here, you'll see the hiking path down at the bottom of the valley. That's part of that hike. Some of the, that hike has uh, up to a 32% grade, so pretty hefty up and downhills. I'd already done some hiking in a couple other places, so I didn't want to overdo it with my ankle. I'm still recovering, so. And, and Sophie was a little tired. You can see the pathways down there. Just amazing. The sky, the rocks. It doesn't get any better than this. I couldn't represent as much of the park as I wanted to today in video. If I had, you'd have had about a two-hour video. I tried to condense it and give you a little taste of everything. There's a lot more than this that I haven't put up today. But uh, just amazing. This area is called the teepees, for obvious reasons. Beautiful, colorful drive through here. The colors and the textures are amazing. Great for photography. I'm not much of a photographer, but I can recognize that.
just beautiful. This is an example of the Painted Desert from Lacey Point. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for coming with me.